hi Julie here in today's video we're going to have a look at film pack 7 by um, DxO so if you've ever used like the Nick collection or Nick silver effects or analog effects or anything like this this is by the same people and it's similar but it's different at the same time so there's some really really cool um, film simulations or emulations that you can use and play with and edit with in film pack so if there's something that you really like to do which is um, playing with film looks for your image then maybe check out the film pack it is awesome you can use it from Lightroom you can use it as a standalone and you can use it as a filter in Photoshop so it's really really cool um, you can also use it from um, photo lab too so um, this is what it looks like when you get in you've got some um, usual you know save and return to Photoshop um, not save return undo manage presets preferences things like that that's there then you've got your save um, which is pretty simple so you don't have to go in here you just click save it saves it and returns you to Photoshop or whatever you can save a preset so if you've tweaked your own preset so you can actually set up your own new presets then you can do it um, and save them there so there's loads to have a look at so I've just got this um, cute little Alice in Wonderland with Eden here and I thought we'll just go and have a sticky beak um, you've got compare you can so you can compare before and afterwards not that I've done anything let's just click on one so you can see it so you can just hold it down you can switch between views optimized image and original and you can do like a side-by-side -side. so either or and then you've got your, your slide that you can do when it decides it's going to work there we go I had just had to click in the right spot so um, turn that one off um, and of course just your normal keyboard shortcuts like control Z and things like that um, for undo you've got zoom one-to-one -one fit you've got your display um, zoom in and you can put your histogram in if you want um, you with your histogram you can play with your different channels too if you want to so what have we got for presets so you can go through you've got your favorites and you'll trust me you'll pick your favorites there are some cool ones that just beautiful I mean the blues off but it's fabulous what it did to the image um, the Lomo chrome which is just magnificent I love it um, and there's a whole heap of them but you can just go by filters so if you're just after black and white ones I'll just turn my presets off and I have got a whole heap of black and white ones that we have got there so if you're a big fan of Fujifilm or anything like that and it gives you a little bit of information about it um, but there's a whole heap there you can go through and you can pick and choose what you want now if you like it but perhaps it's got too much grain or not enough grain or whatever you can always go and customize it so you've got so much that you can play with um, so you can can change the amount of grain on an image um, you can change the intensity of the rendering you can add split toning in there if you wanted to do some split toning so you could add um, some yellow in the highlights whoa maybe not quite so much <gasps> and um, maybe even some blue in the shadows um, so you can do some really just drop the intensity down just a little bit I think on those and same on that one but yeah so you can do split toning in those of course if you decide you don't like it you can either go undo or you can turn that off probably do undo and turn it off um, so you can change you've got your light um, settings so you can change exposure highlight and all the rest of it you can play around with luminosity masking um, it's a matter of clicking on an area and you can change the luminosity 
and play around with all of those. Um, it's quite detailed with what you can um, do in here. Um, you've got contrast, you've got channel mixer, tone curve. Then you've got some really, really cool, I'm just going to turn that off. Where am I? Let's turn that off for the moment. Um, I have got, um, so you can add frames, you can add textures. So there's textures in here that you can add. So if you wanted to add different textures, there's lots of different things you can add to it. Um, you can play around and find so many different things that you can do in there. There's light leaks that you can also put in there. So you can come in and do different light leaks to your frames. Light leaks um, do tend to work better, in my opinion, on darker images. Um, not so much lighter images, but they can sort of work through there. Um, so you can play around with those. Then there's lens effects. There's um, So you can go with um, putting in cooler tones or warmer tones and play with those to make different changes in your image. So this is sort of giving it, taking away from the shadows really. So um, you may want to warm it up. There's lots of things you can do. Creative vignetting. So you can um, put, whoops, when you click on the right thing, you can um, have a vignette that just goes round. So this is a white vignette or you can go for a black vignette. So it's similar to what you have in like Lightroom or Creative Raw. Uh, yeah, Camera Raw, that's the one. So you can have a dark vignette or a light vignette. You can choose the midpoint, the transition, how round it is. You can set the center. So if I go for white, I can click in here and take my center point and change it to there if I wanted to. So you can move those points around. Um, you could make it dark, whatever. So there's lots you can do in there. Um, and the blurring, which is really cool as well. So you can come in and you can blur the edges. Again, you can choose where you want to keep in focus and where to blur from. So that's probably a little bit. So you've got vignetting and you've got soft focus as well. So you can play with those. So there's some very, very cool things that you can do in there. And that's just playing with the presets and customizing it. Now, of course, you can save that if you want to. So you can just click in here, put in whatever you want. Um, you know, Alice, black and white created by me. I'm just going to put Julie um, and whatever you want to do. So Alice with Eden. So I know what I'm doing. That's fine. Um, then you can come in from scratch and you can make your own. So you can go through all of them. You don't have to have black and white. You can have color. You can go through and you can adjust absolutely everything that I went through before. The other thing which is really, really fun to play with is, if I go back to here, the time machine. Now, if you checked out my video that I did on DxO, I went through the time machine, um, but I thought I would um, let you have a little look of it in here just in case you didn't see the other photo but or the other video I should say but what the time machine does is it goes through and it gives you iconic photos from different periods of time and tries to emulate those so you've got from the 19th century you've got different looks um, you've got the 1900s um, you've got the 1910s um, you've got so many, you know, um, uh, iconic photos, um, the Model T Ford and fem feminism. Um, you've got all sorts of different looks that you can go through. And if you click on that, it will bring it up. So there's amazing ones and you can pick one of those, um, and it will try and emulate that. So let's, um, 
So what it did was it took that photo of the building workers and it's put a little bit of a frame on it, it's put a bit of dust on it, it's put some light leak on it um, and given it those sort of looks. Um, if we come back in, we can go to the 1940s. Um, oh, Beauty and the Beast. Oh, look at this, isn't that gorgeous? Um, so you can go matching the renderings, clicking on it and it will bring up a couple of different options. So you could turn, um, you know, Beauty and the Beast, that's a beautiful, clean, that's actually really, really nice, like that one. Um, so uh, there's so many different um, options that you can play with. Um, that's still colour, but it's really faded from the 1940s. Um, I do like that Beauty and the Beast one, though. That is just not that one. Where did it go? Oh, I've lost it now. Beauty and the Beast. There we go. There it is. Um, that's really nice. So you can go through, but you can do, you know, the, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, all the way through to the 2000s. So there's so many things that you can do with this. Um, closing out of that, there's, um, like I said, you can scroll through, um, you can go right through to 2020 and stuff like that. So there's lots of classic iconic things that, that you can do with the time machine, which gives you a, a one-stop look so that you only click just that one button, no need to do anything else. Or you can play around with the different presets and there's so many different presets. If you click on the filter, you've got legacy films, negative slide, there's designer presets, you've got cinematic, you've got... Um, you know digital if you want to actually emulate old digital um, images you can do that as well obviously not before like 2000 or whatever um, but they're still there um, and then of course you can go in you can pick all your favorites um, and you can also save your own presets so that's it for um, film pack um, I just thought I'd go through and walk you through it. Um, I might come back a little bit later and do, you know, a step-by-step -step walk through and do a complete edit. But for now, I'm just giving you an overall. So all I'm going to do is hit save and that's just going to return me back to Photoshop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.